Hi, welcome to Search for Eels, the weekly newsletter from INR Bonds. I'm Arjun Patsayati. And in this uh, edition of Search for Eels, we will take you through how bonds are helping financial advisors grow assets. And uh, the way they grow assets is clearly that they are adding value to their clients through you know, providing the best fixed income solutions and uh, using bonds in a very uncertain interest rate environment, they have been able to uh, grow assets for their clients when all the other traditional products have been delivering very low returns that are uh, not even coming close to anywhere near inflation or you know dragging down the overall portfolio returns investment returns for their clients. Just before that, INR Bonds has been at the forefront of providing the best information, knowledge, and the transparency and the digital experience for financial advisors to take bonds to their clients. And uh, to, for investors as well, we have uh, our app, Quick Invest by INR Bonds, and also that we have a partner pay portal for financial advisors where they just need to come in, sign up, and then take to use the best of INR bonds for their clients. As a financial advisor, my biggest responsibility is to help my clients make the right investment choices. Now, with INR bonds, buying and investing in bonds for my clients is quick and easy. With my guidance on bonds, my clients are happy and I'm getting new business every day. Register as a financial advisor on INRBonds.com to help your clients invest and save better through bonds. Back to a search for eels and the topic for today is how advisors are helping and are growing assets through bonds. And uh, in, this, uh, in the last uh, couple of years, we have seen that because of the COVID, a lot has happened in the fixed income markets. One is because the central banks have cut rates to record lows. The general returns in products have come down very sharply. Yeah, in fact, uh, across uh, products from fixed deposits to mutual fund fixed income schemes, the returns have been just around 3 to 5%. And this is uh, pre-tax and nowhere close to any kind of returns that can help beat inflation. And uh, these very low returns are also dragging down overall portfolio investment returns. And financial advisors are finding it very difficult now for their clients because the clients are getting very low returns. And uh, hence, they are moving uh, out of... Uh, uh, they're just getting into uh, searching for solutions on fixed income. And advisors uh, who have been helping clients find the right solutions on fixed income are now growing assets. While uh, given that equity markets too have turned volatile, now there is more and more need for fixed income options for clients. And these fixed income options should be that they sh on a risk-adjusted basis, they should earn enough returns to one is uh, balance out the portfolio to earn uh, enough returns to beat inflation and help clients to actually uh, navigate the uncertain investment market and keep enough uh, money to liquid money to make sure take use of any opportunity that could arise in such kind of volatile markets. So bonds have been very clearly instrumental in helping investors, uh, advisors, and investors protect their and grow their wealth. In the last couple of years, when um, uh, bond deals have come off very sharply, what has gained in prominence is bonds, bonds, especially the short maturity bonds, which uh, of uh, yielding better returns than uh, government bonds, uh, state development loans, and uh, Bharat Bond ETF and uh, very highly rated to play uh, bonds, which have been the worst underperformers. 
uh, advisors who have been identifying the right bonds have been able to help their clients beat uh, regular returns uh, from fixed deposits and mutual funds by at least four to five percent or at least minimum of two to three percent depending on what bonds they have been investing in now what I, what what has become very popular in the last uh, couple of years let me take you through the products and the bonds now on the listed space uh, you have invits invits that have been growing very rapidly and an invit like a power grid that came out with an ipo has returned almost 20 25 percent uh, that's a very good return for a very low risk product high long range product as well easily tradable in the market and uh, available for all investors from very low maturity then you have the uh, other you have uh, uh, the advent of uh, mlts which has been finding a lot of favor with ultra high net worth investors who have uh, who are finding it very difficult to generate reasonable post tax returns and MLDs have taken over a large part of that market where ultra high net worth are able to generate very reasonable post-tax returns on their investments. And on the retail side, a very retail side, a lot of debt IPOs have come in. And these have uh, some of them who have, which have been uh, reasonably priced and are of good quality have been able to generate reasonable returns for their investments and uh, on the bond side on the regular bond side a lot of bonds have been given uh, given uh, good returns these bonds have been uh, yielding anywhere between eight percent to ten percent or even eleven percent for a maturity of uh, one and a half years to maximum of three years and uh, these bonds have really been helping investors and financial advisors to one, uh, earn higher returns, to get a, get their funds back very shortly, very in a very quick time, say in one year, one and a half years, and reinvest the funds at much better yields because interest rates have risen. And uh, with when they reinvest the uh, uh, return of funds when interest rates have risen, they earn actually better returns. And over a period of time, they are beating all kinds of benchmarks, very, very wide margin so this has also been helping investors to and financial advisors to uh, to uh, find a solution for very low returns offered on all other products that have been available for investors and traditionally uh, with uh, investors in only looking at uh, small saving schemes fixed deposits and uh, which have their own issues. Fixed deposits, obviously, the rates of return are very low. Small saving schemes, uh, you have a restricted uh, amount you can invest. So the solutions have not been very forthcoming and for investors. Uh, a lot of variety of bonds have also come in of varying risk as well. So you have uh, many platforms that have been offering very high returns, but the risk is not properly enumerated. And hence, uh, investors and advisors have to be very careful on uh, high, very high yielding bonds, which are offering very high returns, but without enough uh, the proper risk uh, coverage. Uh, then there is a question of, you know, what is the, is the level of returns acceptable for the risk? Um, hence, with these... Uh, different uh, offerings of bonds and bonds have been coming in various various standards various categories of, of and offering a lot of solutions for advisors for their clients portfolios they have gained a lot in prominence many investors also very find a lot of comfort in say even 10 year bonds of companies like tata tata group companies that are offering over 9% kind of annual uh, uh, open and many investors are very happy to invest in such bonds because given that Tata, um, Tata is a very strong name in the country. 
However, these bonds carry their own risk because they are perpetual in nature. And investors and advisors do have to understand the nature of this risk. But clearly, bonds have been one of the best uh, uh, investments in fixed, uh, fixed, uh, in fixed income over the last couple of years after the COVID. And interest rates uh, dropped very sharply. Investors have been frowningly. And when rates also rose, then uh, uh, in, uh, in those who have been invested in longer maturity products have lost money because the price has eroded of the bonds of the of the you know, products, and that, that has led to, earned to almost capital loss in many cases as well. So bonds clearly has uh, helped uh, advisors to uh, invest the right in, in the fixed income. Yeah, right, uh, right. Invest right in fixed income, and more and more uh, clients are now accepting such kind of uh, bonds, and uh, with help, helping advisors grow their assets. And our bonds is uh, always there to help financial advisors to grow their assets. Visit our inrbonds.com and go to our partner page and look at all the offerings and sign up to. Them up. Thank you very much for listening. It was a tough journey going from an intern to a senior professional. Now to protect my savings against high inflation and grow my wealth, I invest in bonds with INR Bonds. Download the INR Bonds app to save better.